Hey guys, this is Tristan here. Um, I haven't been doing anything uh, lately on YouTube, and I've been thinking about this project I want to do, um, and I decided it was time to do it now, because otherwise it would never get done. Uh, so basically what I was thinking of is make a, a small video series of about 20 videos, maybe, that would uh, be about running a Minecraft server under Linux, sort of like uh, the p public type of servers, one that would have uh, lots of people. And dang, let me keep that. <laughs> um, on Linux, like it would focus on how to set up your Minecraft server, setting up databases, setting up uh, like a script to automatically back up, Oh man, this thing is annoying. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, how to back up, uh, setting up your database, uh, how to deal with uh, certain situations, uh, also like uh, recommended plugins and things like that. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. And I guess finally decided to give up on the arrow stuff, so we'll have to deal with this ugly gray stuff. But uh, that doesn't matter too much. Um, so, the uh, first thing I won't really be going over is uh, acquiring your server. Uh, basically, the most popular thing to do is to get uh, a, a VPS, a virtual private server, from a hosting company get those pretty cheap. Um, I personally use uh, budget VM. I get uh, 4 gigs of RAM, a 180 gig disk, and 6 terabytes of bandwidth with a 6 core CPU uh, for $20 a month, which is ridiculously cheap. Uh, so I'd recommend them. Or otherwise, just like a typical at home uh, server like a, a machine that you don't really know what to do with it would be probably fine to run a minecraft server on um, so yeah I'm assuming you already have that and then I'm gonna be also setting this up remotely so the first tool uh, to set this up remotely basically would be to have an SSH server running on your server um, I may or may not cover how to do this. If you're using like a VPS, uh, you've of course already got one running because uh, that's how you can access your server. If it's um, a machine you have at home and that you've just set up, that's one you might not have it. So I'll either cover that in another video or link a guide from somewhere. The first tool that you're going to need, if you are on Windows, uh, you'll need a tool called Putty. Um, I can just, I'll put the link in the description. Just want to go download page and download this here. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can just use uh, a terminal. Um, just save it wherever. I've already got it saved here. So when you open it, it's going to look like this. Um, you won't have any saved sessions here because those are some servers I already have credentials loaded for. But basically you want to put the IP address of your server here and then you just want to click open. Uh, if you want to save a server you can basically put the IP address, type in a name here uh, and then click the save button. I'm just going to click my server here because it's already in the list. Uh, so yeah, if you're on Mac or Linux, just open up a terminal, type in SSH, and then the IP address of your server, and it's going to uh, come up to the same thing. Actually, you want to put username at the uh, IP address out of your server. I'll put an annotation somewhere. If you're on Putty, it's going to look like this. Login as, then you just put in your username. And password, just type. Uh, the cursor won't move because it's hiding your password. If you just type in and hit enter, um, oops, <laughs> if you put in the right password it would work. Here we go. 
so basically you're on the console of your server now and the first uh, prerequisite you're gonna need uh, is of course Java because that's how uh, the Minecraft server is gonna run, it's written in Java so uh, I'd recommend uh, getting the latest Java uh, version 7 directly from Oracle um, because it's the current version now and there's not really a, use, a reason to use a version earlier than that so you can check if it's already installed you can check your version by typing java minus version uh, where is it? Oh, uh, I made a typo there uh, if it says java version 1.7 dot whatever just 1.7 you're uh, fine and good to go however if it doesn't say that uh, if it says something like Java version 1.6 and it might not say a hotspot 64-bit uh, server it might say like uh, open JDK something um, if you've got open JDK I don't think it supports um, Java 7 but you want to use the Oracle Java anyway so the first thing if you have uh, Java 6 JDK uh, open JDK sorry is you want to type in sudo oops sudo uh, that runs the command as root uh, if you're not already root um, but it's recommended to uh, not work as root um, yeah so you want to use uh, sudo under your regular user apt dash get space purge that deletes the package open jdk dash six dash java or if you have OpenJDK 7, you can do JDK-7-Java, dash dash like that. Then if you hit enter, it's going to ask you for your password. Hit enter that. Then uh, for me, it just says unable to locate package because uh, I don't have that installed. But once that's done, you want to type in sudo apt-get install. Um, Oracle dash Java seven dash installer enter. Um, mine is already installed, of course, so uh, it's not going to install it again. I'm just going to clear the window. So uh, once all of that is done, you should be able to uh, run your server. Okay, once you're in slash TMP, uh, you might not have permission to write in there. So, uh, we should be able to write in there. We're going to test that by going over to uh, Minecraft.net and download the uh, Minecraft multiplayer server. You want to grab the Minecraft underscore server dot jar. Uh, copy that and paste in putty is uh, right click now you want to do wget to download the file then I uh, right click to paste then it's just going to go ahead and download um, so now if we do ls to list we'll see we have this minecraft server dot jar so now we can uh, try and run it to see if everything works you want to type in java Reconnect. I'll guess Tristan. I'll put in my password. Boom slash TMP slash Minecraft. Okay, we're back. So now you want to type in Java space minus jar space Minecraft underscore server dot jar and just hit enter. Oh wait, if um. Usually for you it's going to start up, but I'm already running servers on this, so it can't bind to the default port. So uh, you want to open up your server.properties. Um, if you want to use a uh, what I call a noob-friendly editor, uh, it's called Nano. It might not be installed. You can install it with apt get install Nano nano and then server dot properties then you can sort of just use the arrow keys 
put in text and to save you hit control X and if you've modified it it's going to ask you if you want to save you hit Y or if you're more advanced and know VI which is my favorite text editor um, I'm going to use this in the video because I feel more comfortable with it I feel it's a bit different it has different hotkeys and it, if you know how to use it, it you can edit uh, your files faster but uh, if you're just starting to learn Linux, you want to use Nano because it's very easy to use. So I'm just going to change my port here to 25545 and save the file. And start the server. Now it's going to start generating the world. Just, uh, and create the ops whitelist and uh, whatever files. So it's all done in the world. There we go. It's finished. And uh, if you want to fire up Minecraft, uh, I'll just log in. Okay. Hopefully the servers are not down. No, the login servers are not down. Okay. Just go to multiplayer direct connect. Uh, I have a domain name uh, set up on my server. I'm not going to be covering this, um, but I can link uh, to something else that will cover it. So 25545. And if we join the server, logging in. Uh, oh, I have the camera studio mod installed here. Um, whatever so it's a minecraft server you can do whatever you can punch a pig to death there we go we got ourselves food so there's uh, this is just basic minecraft server it's vanilla no, nothing modified or anything oh, some sugar cane but um, in later videos, I'll get into um, setting up a bucket server, or maybe even like a feed the beast or tech it or forge server. It's pretty much the same procedure, uh, but bucket is really different from the vanilla server because of its plugin system. But anyways, uh, I think that's going to be enough for just a basic start on how to set up a Minecraft server. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this video helped you. And I hope uh, you're looking forward to the next videos in this series. Not quite decided what it's going to be about, but um, I think I'm just going to do uh, some last bit of stuff you can still do with vanilla minecraft until I move on to uh, bucket and uh, more in-depth stuff so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you uh, in the next video